A lot of people think of 1963 like it was the Stone Age, but we had all the modern conveniences, like a dishwasher, an ice maker, heck, we even had a trash compactor. We called this all-in-one appliance Mob. But on Sundays, even Mom would get a break. Mom, Ted's hitting me! Ted, not in the face! Like when we were all going to Coney Island for a much-needed day of rest and relaxation. Spot. It's open. Yes, the best parking spot on the block, right in front of our building. Usually, it was occupied by this car, which was owned by this man, George Novogroder. Now, I can't stress this enough. Novogroder always had the spot. Hey. You leaving? Nope, just got back. Always. Hey, you leaving? Nope, just got back. But astoundingly, today, the spot was empty. Except for a couple of cones. Cones? That nutcase thinks he can save the spot with cones. <laughs> Boys? Move the cones. Oh. Okay, so Dad got the spot. Good for him. But how are we gonna get to Coney Island? Oh, Oliver, that's adorable. You still think we're going? <laughs> we're still going to Coney Island, right, Dad? I got the spot. I got the spot. He can't hear you, kid. I got the spot! This spot is mine! I didn't get to ride the cyclone at Coney Island, Whee! so I did the next best oh, thing. This is so much fun! Woo! I think I'm gonna be a And then, as I lay there in the gutter at my deepest, darkest moment, something wonderful happened. Dave Cooper got hit by a car! That's fantastic! So that means his paper out. It's yours! Yes! I am gonna be so cool! I hope you're happy, Jerry. The boys were looking forward to spending a nice day with their father. And now, they're crushed. seems to be okay with it. <laughs> no, no. I'll get it. You move my flipping cones, Consonant! Nova Groder promised his mother on her deathbed that he would never utter a single swear word. You better get your cotton-picking car out of my spot, you, you flim-flammer! Your spot. Your spot. Oh! You mean my spot? I need to park there because of my medical condition. What medical condition? High blood pressure. How high? 150 over 90. 160 over 100. Suck on that, Nova Groder. Early the next morning, while most of the city slept, I began my career as a paper boy. Look at these beautiful bastards. These weren't kids on bikes. These were Roman gods astride their mighty chariots. And now, I was one of them. Hey, Dorothy. Unless you're expecting Toto, lose the basket. Okay, uh... Got it. So, when do we start? When do we get the papers? You gotta talk to Glenn. Who's Glenn? Glenn Wiener. At school, he paid for that name. But here, he was the law. We got a new kid in our ranks. What's your name? I don't care what your name is! See this switchblade comb? It costs more than you make in a week. And I'm throwing it away. You know why? Because I've got more money than I know what to do with. You want to make it big like me someday? Yeah. Deliver the papers! Wow. We'll see so mad about it. It's just male posturing. 
There I was, with my own job, making my own money. Part of the engine that made America great. Ah, uh, who was I kidding? My arms hurt, I could barely stay on my bike. Being a paperboy sucked. So, the next morning... Honey, come on, baby, it's time to wake up for your paper route. Oh, uh, I'm not doing that anymore. Night. Oliver. Why are we still having this conversation? Those papers have to be delivered. <sighs> yeah, she was right. Somebody did have to deliver those papers. Pardon me. Are you Glenn? Who wants to know? Yeah, who wants to know? I'm Oliver Bean's mother. Oh, God, he quit already? I knew he wasn't paperboy material. Hey, that's my son that you're uh, accurately describing. Anyway, I finished up his paper route for the day. The papers were already delivered, and you're gonna have to find someone else. Just like that? You're leaving? Lady, I can't find a replacement overnight. You at least just stay for the rest of the week? Yeah, the rest of the week. Uh, no. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, jeez, look, kid. I'm really sorry if this puts you in a bind. I really am. But I'm a very busy lady, and I don't have time to be a paper girl. Paper girl? <laughs> There's no such thing as a paper girl. <laughs> Shut up, lackeys! Well, someone's just gonna have to pick up the slack. Michael, come over here, now! You brought Bean in, you're covering your route and his till we find a replacement. What? I can't get up any earlier? Mrs. Bean, if you have any shred of decency... All right, all right. You have me till Friday. Oh, thank God. If I don't do my morning yoga, I am Mr. Grumpy Puss all day long. Meanwhile, my dad was reveling in the glory of the best parking spot in the history of parking spots. No front license plate! I got a front license plate! Sergeant. Uh, top of the morning to you. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the front of my car. Uh, yes. Now, look at this ticket and tell me what's wrong. Ah, the good old days, when you could scream at a cop and not accidentally trip and hit your head on the squad car four or five times. You're right. There's a problem. Thank you! The problem? It's the wrong color paper, and in our precinct, there is no officer I gotcha. <laughs> it's a phony ticket! <laughs> Nova Groder! Just got back. <laughs> Boys, wake up. Get dressed. Huh? What's that for me? Shh, 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 shh. I need you to help me with something. What? In every man's life, he does some things he's not proud of. I want you to help me do one of those things. I don't get it. I want you to help me vandalize George Novogrotter's car. Cool! Hold on, Oliver. I think it's a trap. No, Dad. Vandalism is wrong. We should respect the laws of society. You're right, Ted. Yep. It would be wrong to vandalize the car. It would also be wrong to let a 15-year-old drive. You're the best dad ever. Some sons bond with their dads over baseball. For others, it's fishing. For me and Ted, it was vandalism. You in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm a truck, yeah. with my mom. Like an omelet. Buzz, ha, 
my dad wasn't the only one acting like a 12-year-old. Dad! Another record. All right. Glenn, Michael, Scooter, Wizzo, Boomerang, Pointy, Big Bob, Little Bob. Bob, see you tomorrow. Mrs. Bean, it's Friday. Well, I guess uh, I'm done. Boys, a round of applause for the best paper boy, girl, person, whatever any of us has ever seen, Lightning Bean. Wow. The only applause my mom ever got at home was that sarcastic thing my dad did when she dropped stuff. Oh, thanks. Thanks, you guys. You guys are really... You're just really the greatest. I really mean that. It's in your blood now, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't want to quit? Of course I do. A 36-year-old woman can't go on like this. You keep riding that bike every day, you're gonna have the tush of an 18-year-old. Don't speak! I mean, look at you. You're glowing. The fresh air, the exercise, the camaraderie. Face it. You're one of us. That's right. Yeah. Oyster Shaka! Yikes. Eggs. Figure you got about 15 minutes before that ruins your paint job. Of course, there's a car wash down the block. Getting exactly what he wanted always had the same effect on my dad. It drove him crazy. Come on, boys. Get up. Oh. It was fun the first time, but we need sleep. You need sleep. I haven't slept in 40 hours, and I am performing a root canal in the morning. That's barely ethical. Now, get your foot things on. So there we were, spending the night in my dad's car, protecting his spot. Hey, Ted, you ever think about, you know, our dad? You mean now he's sort of crazy? Yeah, I mean, do other dads have their kids sleep in the car to protect a parking spot and we just don't hear about it? I don't think so. Are we going to be crazy when we grow up? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I said we got a 50-50 chance. Half our genes come from mom. You mean mom's a paper boy? You're right. We're screwed. Hey, Oliver. Get some shut-eye. I'll keep watch. Thanks, Ted. towed to a junkyard without us knowing it. I bet he drugged us. That's it. That's it. Dad, listen to yourself. I mean, let's just park behind Nova Rotor's car. But that would be giving up. I know. It's not the spot, but it's a spot. Dad? That's right, Dad. Let it go. You know what? You guys are right. Sorry I put you through this. Let's go home. Bean! You know what I find so amusing? How hard you're trying, you're still lost. Hmm. You know, your boys must be very proud of you. 
I don't know if it was being up all night, watching dad get humiliated again, or the crazy gene finally kicking in, but something inside of us snapped. Do it. <laughs> My beautiful boys. <laughs> Can't believe he had a heart attack. I feel so guilty. Ted, don't feel guilty. I'm the one who put you in that position. Although technically, you're the one who caused the heart attack. Me? Oliver told me to do it. Look, why are we arguing? It's no one's fault. But if it's anyone's fault, it's his fault. My fault. I mean, yeah, it is. You got in the car. I didn't tell you to get in the car and push it forward. That wasn't my fault. Wait, 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 what are we doing? We're a family. Don't you know what that means? It means that legally, they can't force us to testify against each other. And that's why I said to the guy, I says, Mister, you ain't getting this paper till you put on some pants. <laughs> Everyone was excited to be paid, but no one more so than my mom. In a way, this paycheck represented more than a week's work. It was compensation for 17 years as a hard-working wife and mother. Six bucks? <laughs> Six bucks? I know. I'm putting four in my college fund, and the rest is just pure mad money. Six bucks? I'm not doing this anymore. Six bucks? Wait, come back. It's in your blood. Push of an 18 year old. All that. Despite your attempt to murder him, my husband will see you now. Yeah, right. 20 years married to her, and we caused a heart attack. <laughs> How you doing, George? Look, I'm so sorry. We we all are. Yeah, Mr. Novogroder. Sorry we almost killed you. Though it was kind of cool when they put those shocker things on you. <laughs> you jumped around like a flounder. I mean, I'm sorry, too. I never would have pushed so hard if I thought it would cost you your health. How did it come to this? I don't know, Jerry. I guess it's kind of my fault, too. Two grown men fighting over a parking space. When I see you lying there, it makes me realize how precious life is and how foolish I was. Jerry? Yeah, George. That's my turn it around. I think I'm using this gosh darn bedpan. Oh, sure. Thanks. Sure. Thanks. Promise you, when you get out of here, Charlotte and I are gonna have you and your lovely wife over for dinner she makes a three-inch steak smothered in butter and fried onions she's gonna set you right up and no more pettiness no more fighting right george george nova Crowder. The race to the parking spot was on. Novogroder had a head start, but we had a clear advantage, not being half dead. Nice dress, fat ass! <laughs> and the need for appreciation. But both my parents went a little crazy that week. My mother finally realized the local paper couldn't deliver what she so desperately needed. My dad, on the other hand, just didn't know when to stop. This would have been a good time. Charlotte, again, 
I am really sorry about running you over. Could I have some more ice in this, please? Right away, honey. Excuse me, I can't see the TV, Jerry. Okay. While it was a bumpy ride, my mom found herself in a place where she was showered with the love and attention she so richly deserved. And that was the best spot of all. That's right, Nova Grutter. Keep polishing. But you can't keep that car there forever. <laughs> well, as it turned out, Nova Groder could keep his car there forever. In fact, the car is still there to this day. Who knows when that spot will be open? If you don't watch the Fox Box, you've been missing it all! Bottom action. <laughs> what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen! Fox Fox, you never know what's gonna happen!